ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good today. I know you guys haven't seen me in a while, but I am back. I wanted to come out here and drop some videos, honey, okay? There's been all types of mess going on out here, a lot of tea being spilled. So if you guys do not know, okay, a lot of legitimate sites are now reporting that Wendy Williams' husband, Kevin Hunter, he just welcomed a brand new baby girl by his side chick, Sharina Hudson. They just welcomed a baby girl about two weeks ago. They're saying that she gave birth Friday, March 22nd, and I believe the baby was born in Pennsylvania but I'm not sure about that now if you guys have been watching this channel for any length of time you guys know over a year ago I stated when I seen those pictures of Sharina I felt that she was pregnant because being a mother myself, I looked at her and I'm like, okay, she clearly looks pregnant. She's clearly a few months along. You could tell by her demeanor, her hair, how she was carrying herself, that something was definitely going on there. Because when you're the side chick, it's your job to keep up appearances. You're supposed to let the world know that this is why her husband left her for me. And when I seen Sharina, I was like, you look just as old as Wendy in a lot of these damn pictures. What the hell is really going on here? that update and I think the saddest part of this is um if you see any recent pictures of Wendy Williams she's literally walking around here looking like a scarecrow and I'm not saying that to be funny she looks very sickly she looks very stressed and like I said that Sharina chick definitely looks pregnant to me in my personal opinion so anyways what I'm hearing is that she was pregnant back then a year ago when I had initially speculated it from what I heard Either Kevin allegedly told her to have an abortion or she had a miscarriage. So that pregnancy ended. But then she got pregnant again. If you guys remember back in December, me and Love B. Scott, we reported this that Love B. Scott's website was sent exclusive information basically stating that Sharina Hudson was pregnant and that she would be given birth in 2019. And so I have reported it. Love B. Scott reported it. And I knew there had to be some truth to it because around Christmas, for y'all who don't know, Love B. Scott was sent a cease and desist letter from Wendy Williams. And at that point, he kind of felt mad. Like, hold up now, Wendy. You do the same shit I do. You report on celebrity news, celebrity gossip, but now you want to cease and desist when it comes to your shit. Make it make sense. So I'm going to so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this flashback. Go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. But now, Love B. Scott is reporting some tea. He's saying that the real reason why Wendy is, you know, taking pills, it's not because of a hairline fracture. It's because her husband has gotten the mistress pregnant. Now, if you guys remember a year ago, I was speculating that the mistress was pregnant. There was more going on, you know, beneath the eye. Now, I don't know if the mistress ever had the baby, if she had a miscarriage. I'm not sure. But they're reporting that she's supposedly pregnant now and that that's what has Wendy Williams just kind of, you know, besides herself. Okay, so you guys just saw that flashback from December when we were reporting on the whole pregnancy situation. And then, like I said, on December 26th, the day after Christmas, Love B. Scott got a cease and desist. I'm going to go ahead and read that to you guys right here. ...out with another woman even playing house. Wendy has also, uh, always been silent about it, but after a new report on the website, Love B. Scott, which questioned her health and claimed her husband's mistress is pregnant with his baby wendy's lawyer has sent a cease and desist letter to the website saying in part mrs wendy williams hunter and mr kevin hunter categorically deny each and every allegation made by your sources now love b scott hasn't removed their article yet and they say we also find it super hypocritical that a woman who frequently uses our exclusive tea about others as hot topics for her show wants to send cease and desist letters when the tea is about her that's a really good point yeah so that's like so Love B. Scott shared this on his website, and he says this. Aside from that, her lawyer sent us a cease and desist letter the day after Christmas with typos demanding a... <laughs> Love B. Scott is so messy, honey. He said, with typos demanding a retraction. So this is what the letter states. The letter stated that both Miss Wendy Williams Hunter and Kevin Hunter categorically deny each and every allegation made by your sources. So then after that, Love B. Scott ends up posting some shady tweets from celebrities 
who were dragging Wendy Williams. And here goes one from Cherry Johnson. Hey, Wendy, I heard that your husband got his mistress pregnant for the second time and you about to play stepmama again. Now it seems like Kevin got that super sperm. How come you ain't getting pregnant? Oh, that's right. How you doing, Wendy? Karma's a bitch. You need to leave people alone in 2019 and find Jesus and be a nicer person. Honey. I had to take not one but two sips on that shit, okay? I know Love B. Scott is somewhere, somewhere runway walking, honey, and flipping his damn wig, okay? Because he and I told y'all way back in December that this was coming down the pipeline, and now other legitimate sources are also confirming that Sharina had the baby, The Breakfast Club is talking about it, Daily Mail is talking about it, you know, so I think this is what has caused so much drama and strife in Wendy Williams' life, is the fact that her husband of, I don't know, 20 damn years, not only has a mistress, but he got the audacity to get her pregnant not once but twice okay so this entire situation is crazy and I think at this point in time you know more info is going to come out I'm sure Sharina is going to be messy and leak the baby pictures and everything else and rub it in Wendy Williams face I think Wendy Williams at this point in time needs to leave okay this is the ultimate disrespect he was disrespectful by cheating with this woman for years putting her up in a condo buying her cars paying for her tuition he's doing all this shit on Wendy's money which I just find really crazy now I I think she needs to leave just for the fact that this is what Wendy William preaches, okay? She has told women time and time again to leave for less. She's always giving advice to her audience. You know, if a man messes up, if he disrespects you, you need to cut him off and move on. But now you're not taking the same advice that you were dishing. There's a lot of young girls, you know, believe it or not, that look up to Wendy Williams and they look at her as a role model. And what she's dealing with and putting up with is not a good look. I'm going to say this. If she doesn't leave, that's her business. If she wants to stay and put on a facade and stand by her man like damn Tammy Wynette, okay? Don't ask me about mine until you see this gone. And it ain't going anywhere, not in this lifetime. If she chooses to do that, that's on her. But to the young girls who are in this situation, you know what I'm saying, it is better to leave. Let him be with his mistress. Let them raise their damn child. He's gonna get his karma. She's gonna get her karma because you cannot go into a situation breaking up a marriage, breaking up a relationship, and then think that your relationship is going to be blessed. You cannot build a foundation of love on bullshit, okay? We've seen that time and time again where people be so happy to be the side chick and then the shit don't fucking work out, okay? So I would say to Wendy Williams, she needs to leave Kevin. Sometimes this shit's cheaper to pay them off. You know what I'm saying? Give them a little bit of settlement money, just whatever, because there were no prenups signed. You know, so she's obviously going to have to pay something. But I think, you know, for her, for her sanity, for everything, she just needs to kick him to the curb because this entire situation, it just doesn't make any damn sense. You know, so obviously maybe he wanted more children because, again, this is 2019. Everybody knows and everybody in this situation is an adult, okay? There's no teenagers here. Everybody knows what it takes to get pregnant and not get pregnant so if you're not on birth control if you're not using any type of condoms if you're not doing that then you are looking to have a child okay and I believe that Sharina was definitely looking to secure that bag and possibly Kevin wanted more kids because him and Wendy's child he's older now he's 18 he's going off to college so this entire situation is crazy but once again we've been caught this out we caught this out months ago so I'm not surprised everybody you know sending me messages and saying oh my god you know Kevin had a baby on Wendy what do you think uh yeah we've been caught that out months ago honey okay how you doing all right so there is some breaking news on the wendy williams situation i want to report to you guys so if you guys remember last wednesday when it was reported that she was going into her sober living house and everything else we saw her and kevin hunter walking together and we saw that fat ass wedding ring on her finger well now as of an hour ago wendy williams has been spotted walking out of that same sober living house and her wedding ring is gone okay there's no ring on her finger she's wearing the same jacket she has a different weave it's still blonde but the ring is gone so maybe wendy williams is waking up and realizing that her marriage is over and this facade that she's been trying to keep up for the past, you know, umpteen years, it's crumbling before her eyes because her husband has had a baby with somebody else. It does not get more disrespectful than that. So again, I wish Wendy Williams the best, but this entire situation is crazy. So just in, she has finally taken off her wedding ring.
Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Wendy Williams' husband's mistress, Sharina, basically giving birth back on March 22nd. How do you guys feel about that? And then how do you feel about the fact that, you know, Love B. Scott was the first person to report this and Wendy Williams sent him a cease and desist letter trying to shut him up only for this to come out any damn way, okay? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.